everybody, it's Tracy from Tracy's Fancy. Um, I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on a raised stencil technique. I realize that this is not a new technique, but it was new to me. It was the first time I'd ever done it. And I did this raised gator stencil pattern here on this drawer front, and I had a lot of people ask about it. So I thought I would do a really quick, um, just a quick video to show you how, how easy it is. This is uh, just a basic stencil that can be used with any stencil. I really like this one though because it looks like leather. Um, you just use it on a flat surface. I didn't even do anything to prepare this surface. And then I am using, I got this at Home Depot. It's a wallboard joint compound. It's just joint compound. Just a big tub of goo. Um, I know that the pros that do this on walls <laughs> use a putty knife and I don't have a putty. I mean, I have a putty knife. I just like my fingers. I'm a, I'm a hands-on kind of girl. So I just take a big wad of it. I hold my stencil down and I just start rubbing. Just rub across the surface, just like this. After I get a bunch of it on there, um, I try to just kind of level it out a little bit, but I don't want it perfect because after I paint it, um, I use a metallic glaze over the top of it and I actually really like the imperfections of it. And when you're finished doing it, you can also sand it back. You can knock back the rough bumps a little bit. I also had someone ask, what do you use uh, to keep this from being knocked off later over time and how well does it wear? Well, to be honest, I personally don't know, but I do have a friend who's done this for years. And she said just your paint and the sealer over your paint uh, is enough to seal it to the project. So I really am planning on only using this on drawer fronts, areas that aren't gonna get a lot of wear and tear. Like I wouldn't do this on the surface of a dresser um, where you're gonna have a lot of things sitting. But for a drawer front, I think it's, I think it's just fine. So anyway, I'm done here with this section. Just trying to smooth it out. And now I'm gonna lift the stencil I'm kind of short on some of it up here in this corner, but that's okay. So now I'm going to raise my stencil, and this is literally it. Voila. How amazing is that? Um, so what I'll do next is I'll let this dry a little bit, and I'll move over to the next section, and I'll do that section. While this is drying, I'm going to start. I have four of these drawers to do. So while this is drying, I'm going to move on to another section on a drawer, and I'll do all four drawers. Then I'll be able to come back to this and do my next section. The last time I did it, I tried to move right over and I noticed that the edge of my stencil kind of mashed down some of my pattern. No one even noticed, I think it looks fine. But um, anyway, if you don't mind mess getting messy, this is, this is the Tracy's Fancy Not So Very Technique. So I hope that helps, bye.